Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. I'm glad you stopped by. And hey, don't let me kid you, I'm not a coin dealer. I'm a coin acquisition specialist. I look for coins and then I turn around and I sell them. Before they belong to you, they belong to me. And I'm real finicky about the coins I hold on to. Um, I put them in my eBay store. I have a website that supports all of this. And uh, I love coins. That's all I can tell you. Mostly modern coins. I do I do collect some older dates. So um, anyway, that's what I'm all about. I've uh, been collecting coins since I was just a lad. And now I'm about fixing to be 66 years old, guys. So I've been looking at coins and collecting coins for a long time. And I'm um, real finicky, like I say, about the coins that I um, put in my collection and offer them to people who want to buy them from me. Uh, today I'm going to talk about Mercury Dimes. The Mercury Dime is a 10 cent coin struck by the United States Mint from the late 1916 to 1945. It was designed by Adolf Weinman and also referred to as the Winged Liberty Head Dime. It gained its common name because of the adverse de depiction of the young Liberty identifiable by her wing winged Peregrine cap and was confused with the Roman god Mercury. Weinman is believed to have used Elise Stevens, the wife of a lawyer and poet, Wallace Stevens, as a model. The coin's reverse depicts faces symbolizing unity, strength, and the olive branch signifying peace. By 1916, the dime, quarter, and half dollar designed by mint chief engraver Charles, Charles E. Barber had been struck for 25 years and could be replaced by the treasury of which the mint is a part, without congressional authorization. Mint officials were under the misapprehension that the designs had been changed and held in competition among three sculptors, in which Barber, who had been in his position for 36 years, also took part. Weinman's designs for the dime half dollar uh, were ultimately selected. So the Mercury dime is 10 cents. It's 22.500 grams. The diameter is 17.91 millimeters or 0.705 inches. It's a small little coin. The edge has 118 reeds. The composition is 0.900 silver and 0.100 copper. So it's actually 0.07234 troy ounces. Right now today um, the mercury dime is about two dollars worth of silver and again it was minted from 1916 to 1945 uh, it has a D uh, mint marks are DS and the 2016 W which was a gold reproduction on the reverse between the letter E and one and the base of the olive branch the Philadelphia mint specimens lack any sort of mint mark now, don't let me kid, kid you. Uh, there was a gazillion of these minted. Some dates are uh, far more scar scarce than others, but um, a lot of these have been melted down. So there's never going to be any real way to know. I mean, you can look at minage figures and determine particular dates, how many were produced as to the rarity. But I look at this coin from a point of uh, what kind of nice examples can you find that are affordable and so I recently found a couple examples of this dime that I'm really pleased to have put into my store that I think are affordable and I will continue to put good examples of the mercury dime into my store whenever I can find them but they're going to be probably few and far between folks because you know I look for coins that the average person can afford uh, to turn around and re-offer. So without further ado, here's a couple of nuggets that uh, examples that I just recently found and I'm happy to put them into my store. This PCGS MS66 1943S 
just a beautiful coin no toning uh, not many marks if any in the fields or on the device um, just a pretty high grade for this example And I put this in my eBay store and then I have again this is the San Francisco one and then I have a Philadelphia in the same date oh I'm sorry this is a 43 s this one here is a 44 plain Philadelphia and again look at how nice this coin is now these coins uh, these mercury dimes are very popular for, to be placed in jewelry earrings and necklaces and like I say a lot of them get melted down and they're not difficult to find uh, just in well-worn uh, circulation examples uh, the years that these were produced a dime would go a long way so these got a lot of use in the uh, out in the public and soda pop uh, cigarettes people just would carry these dimes in their pocket because a dime would go a long way and so many of them got worn down and so when you start finding them in uh, MS 64 65 66 or higher um, it's not as easy as you might think and especially examples like these that haven't been uh, toned or marked up or cleaned I, I hate clean coins folks these are just brilliant uh, uncirculated examples they're mostly white and they don't have much toning so um, I don't know how long these will last in my store and frankly if no one buys them uh, I'm going to be happy to hold on to them for as long as I have them because I just I think these are just stunning examples um, I'm going to look for probably MS 65 to MS 67 examples for my store uh, you start getting into MS 68 or higher they might be a little bit unaffordable we'll just have to see uh, I have my techniques for trying to buy these coins hunting them down and trying to acquire them at a good price and which I won't tell you how I do that but I got these two at a price where I can offer them at what I think is a reasonable price and if they sit in my store for a while I'm just going to enjoy owning them because uh, they're really beautiful examples so I wanted to show you these and also now on October the 24th here at Aldrich Magnolia where I live I've reserved the pub from uh, 7.30 to 9.30 and I'm going to be bringing coins to show you guys and these are two of the coins that I'll bring along to offer unless I sell them like I said they're they're in my eBay store so somebody might just buy them at any time and if they do they're gone and I'll try to find more um, but anyway I wanted to make this video and uh, put it in my website and hey you guys uh, bookmark my website and you know because that's where you're always going to find the coins that I'm offering and uh, if you buy a coin from me be sure you go on my contact page especially if you buy it on eBay because eBay won't let us trade email addresses so if you buy a coin from me on eBay go to my website use the contact form tell me the coin you bought give me your eBay user ID so I know who you are and I will email you back a high resolution photograph of, the, of, of your coin so uh, that way if the time comes to sell uh, you have a, a photograph handy so you can turn around and resell the coin yourself uh, anyway guys that's going to conclude this video uh, 
glad you stopped by. Um, I'm going to be making more videos to support my website and and my my coin offerings and uh, showing you I got more new coins coming all the time. There's already coins in my website, so check around and look at some of the really nice examples I have already. And that's this is going to be a growing endeavor on my part. And uh, like I said, uh, bookmark the website, like the video, subscribe. The videos are going to work together with my website and my eBay business. So um, subscribe to my videos, click the notification bell, and bookmark the website. And hey, give us a thumbs up because it helps, uh, helps the channel in more ways than you know. God bless you all and have a great day.